Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, I know that there's a lot of doom and gloom on the news and everything and um, a lot of people are having trouble. But um, I kind of wanted to get away from the news and everything and um, actually what I wanted to talk to you about today was um, something that I touched on yesterday because, you know, amid everything else, spring and gardening, are still on the way. So, um, let me turn this camera around and, um, I'll be right back. Okay, if you can't tell, I've got my little egg collection going on right here. Um, now these are the Chucker's eggs, and I have four of them. And we don't have a whole lot of birds, um, somewhere around 20 birds. And I've, they started laying... I want to say in January, they laid a few eggs and then stopped. And um, they've recently started laying again, so um, I wanted to start collecting today. In fact, um, that's what I mentioned in, in yesterday's video. But it has been raining quite a bit today, so I've gone out a couple of times during the day just to make sure that, you know, I got good clean eggs. But I've got one of these trays, and um, we didn't buy these, um, the trays we've kind of collected as, as we get eggs and stuff for the incubator. Um, one case in point is um, when we originally got the chuckers, um, we bought the eggs and hatched out the first set and that's the ones that are right now out in the little green um, chicken tractor but it's not quite time to get the incubator ready um, what I'm going to do is collect eggs for about 10 days um, usually chicken and duck eggs you collect for about 10 days and on the 10th day you put them in the incubator <clears throat> and quail eggs, generally, you can um, collect them for up to two weeks. But what I'm going to do, just to make sure I get a higher viability um, and fertility on the chucker eggs, is I'm just going to collect them for 10 days, and then I'm going to put them in the incubator. But, you might notice I've got them propped up on this other egg carton over here. Another thing that... Um, I like to do when I'm, I'm saving up eggs to put an incubator run is tip them up on one side and that way um, at bedtime what I'll do is move the egg carton to the other end and tip them the other way so they'll get tipped twice. I'll put these back the way I have them. And, um, Right now I'm keeping them in the sewing room because I have had little cat sedents before. Um, try to keep a, a set of eggs out on the, on the table or something and they get a little rambunctious. And I'm sure anybody with indoor cats know that they can get to be a pain at times. But I've got some. It's going to be the first set that we're going to put in the incubator. And um, I was kind of hoping to have some duck eggs too, but um, it's probably going to be at least another two weeks before they really start laying heavy. But I'm really excited because the, the chuckers we have, like I said, we, we bought the eggs and we hatched them. And um, this would be the first set that... that they've laid that I get to put in the incubator, so I'm excited. It'd be like um, grandbabies, I guess. Grandbaby chuckers. I know, I know it's probably not that exciting to some people, but um, we're look, really looking forward to increasing our chucker flock. And um, I probably won't do chickens. Um, not this spring, but I probably will do some in the fall. And uh, still got a couple of weeks to wait for the ducks. Um, 
rolling ducks lay a very, very, very large egg. So they're hard to miss. But that's part of the reason why I gave everybody fresh new bedding and new straw because um, then the eggs wouldn't be sitting in, in any kind of water. And um, if you've raised chickens, you know that they don't always lay in the nesting boxes. Um, they will lay out in the yard they, just about anywhere they want to. So every day when when I go around and um, do my egg checks and stuff, I go up in the houses and out in the yard and just make sure that I don't leave anything set. Um, keep the, the mice and the predators and stuff away too. But there they are, my first four. And um, I think nine more days, so... Yeah, it would be really nice if, if I got at least that many every day for 10 days, then I would be able to put 40 of them in the incubator. And um, if I remember right, um, the first set we got was only 40 or 50, so we'll see. Anyway, it's really exciting. At least it is to me, so um, um quit talking your ear off and maybe find a little something else to talk about so give me a minute um one thing that i did forget to mention um i don't wash the eggs when i when i bring them in even if they're a little dirty i just leave them that way because um you don't want to rub the coating off the outside of the eggs um when they're laid, if you've ever seen one that's, that's just been laid, they're slightly wet. And that helps with the eggs, it helps seal it in and stuff. And um, I would just prefer not to wash them, even if, even if they are a little bit dirty. And if they're too dirty, then I just won't keep them at all. But I, I did forget to mention that. And... Um, that's that's about all there is really to it just um make sure you pick them up when they're good and fresh don't wash them and i only collect them for about 10 days so anyway um i'll get off that subject now okay so i'm sorry that i just kept rambling on but it is exciting this would be the first set that we've gotten to collect and um, hatch and incubate out ourselves. So, um, probably won't get into too much detail right now about um, incubation times and temps and, and all that. Um, on, I think, I think it would be the 23rd when I put the eggs in. Um, and uh, I'll probably set the incubator up two days ahead of time. That way it has plenty of time to come up to temp and get the humidity up and everything. And we have a, a really nice big incubator um, cabinet style. And um, when I go to get that set up, um, I'll make sure that I go over um, all of that. And... Um, probably um yeah i'll just i'll make a an entire clip about um how to set it up and um how to set the humidity and the time and the temp and everything that um the chuckers need um and if if you want to leave any comments or questions in the box um about different types of birds and stuff um like ducks and chickens and quails and chuckers are the ones that, that we typically raise. Um, we have raised some guineas in the past too, but um, I'll go over all that when when I get the incubator out and ready. So it'll probably be around the 21st or so, but um, it's getting to be a little bit late in the afternoon and um, I need to start thinking about... Um, anything but but chucker eggs um let's start thinking about supper and no i don't have anything big planned for supper and probably just make something easy um 
I I know that there's an awful lot going around you know, in the news and everything, and we've been trying to pay attention, but not too close attention, and we've kind of set ourselves up so we didn't have to go out as much for, at least for the next week or so, so. Um, I hope that everybody's safe and happy and um, not stressing out too much. Um, we just kind of keep the springtime theme going here. Um, we're going to get right back into raising the baby birds and um, getting into the gardening really soon. And I know Mark's got um, a project that he's working on with his dad. And um, we've got a super secret thing going on in the background too. So, um... I'll just get off of here and um, I'm sorry I get so excited about stuff like this and it's just part of being me but um, if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe don't forget to ring that little bell to let you know when we have new videos out um, if you enjoyed my rambling on today um, give me a thumbs up um, if you have any comments or questions, um, please put them in the little box below. And um, thank you for spending a few minutes with me today. And um, love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.